The first use case is on using computer vision technologies at the edge for various security and surveillance activities. Uh, for instance, you like to detect uh, suspicious activity at an ATM. Simple cases like people wearing helmets and entering the ATM. Unusual movements or you would like to capture and identify object in remote areas like using drones uh, to identify crop lens in an agriculture plant or for various uh, defense related activities. In this scenario, you would need real time decision making at the edge as it might not make sense to transfer the data over the cloud for processing be it for latency issues, bandwidth or there might be no or very limited connectivity. In this case, you would employ intelligent devices at the edge. In order to build out this solution, you will need to employ computer vision algorithms on the edge. You can build this using commercial available APIs or using various open source deep learning frameworks like Tiana, TensorFlow and CAFE which are used for solving computation problems using deep learning. For those who are not aware of deep learning, deep learning is a branch of machine learning for learning multiple levels of representations through neural network and the neural network and image processing would automatically infer rules for recognizing images instead of you extracting thousands of features to detect images and various deep learning architectures are employed like uh, convolution neural network uh, recurrent neural network to solve specific problems like computer vision natural language processing speech recognition and have achieved state-of-the-art results for computer vision uh, we use a convolution neural network. Uh, we could build a convolution neural network or use one of the pre-trained instance. Uh, for instance, we could use an inception model released by Google, which is a 22 layer deep network which achieves state of the art results for classification and detection of images. And to provide some context on how this works, for a computer image is nothing but a vector or a set of uh, number pixels. And convolution neural network preserves the spatial relationship between pixels by learning internal feature representation using small squares of input data. And features are learned and used across the whole image allowing for objects in the image to be shifted or translated in the scene and uh, still uh, detectable by the network. For instance, uh, in case of a helmet, some network would learn it has a round edge, some may learn it has to have a glass pane in the front and so on. So the idea is irrespective of where the object is in the frame, you should be able to identify the image. The following slide shows the stack view of employing deep learning API on the edge. The stack consists of real-time OS, a deep learning library, the learning model and the classification code for classifying objects. The learning model is essentially some representation like an object graph which is derived from training the images. So how do you go about implementing this? I'll talk about one approach for building this out. Uh, you could start off with building your own convolution neural network or start with a pre-trained network like an inception model. Next you would go about training the network or just retrain the last network in case of a pre-trained network. For instance, you could take uh, the existing inception model and network released from Google and retrain only the final layer from scratch using your set of images. This process is known as transfer learning and it cuts down the training cycles from days to few hours based on your training data. Next you would go about optimizing your network by trying various learning rates, image crops, batch sizes to get the desired level of accuracy. And coming up with the right set of hyperparameters is one of uh, the toughest part in deep learning. And once you get the desired level of accuracy, yeah, you can use this model for classification. For TensorFlow, uh, the generated model is an object graph. Next you would go about deploying the TensorFlow API and the train model on the edge gateway and use the classification code for classifying objects. The other point to keep in mind is that these deep learning libraries are bulky in nature and might not be supported on all hardware. A lot of optimization need to happen in hardware for providing the desired performance and a lot of innovations happening in the space to provide optimized libraries for deep learning at the edge.